Hey gang, how you doing? I'm tired, I'm grumpy, and today we're taking a look at Boonpaki, or Boonpachi, or Boonwampi. It's everybody's favorite Gokai, Gokai Grey's Zord, or Voltzor, or whatever the heck you want to call these things. Now, I uh, do want to give a big shout out to uh, the good friends at CS Toys. Uh, without them, I would not have been able to get this. Or I wouldn't have been able to get this for a decent price. Uh, this guy was going for, like, I saw him on eBay for like 100 and 150 bucks. But thankfully, CS Toys had him in stock one day and I was able to nab him. So uh, thanks, Mr. S. Let's go ahead and look at the figure. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Pocky is a gray hadrosaur, or I think it's a hadrosaur. I could be wrong on that. Wrong! He's a gray dinosaur robot thing. Legs, arms, and most of the body are exactly the same as the other Voltsaurs, uh, specifically Parasagon, Zakur. Uh, it's the same. Nothing different here. I do like the little horn he's got going. This, uh, this, well, what will be the weapon looks absolutely ridiculous, and it is deployed by merging him with his beast battery, which we have right here. Brave in. So we will put that in and then push the magic button, which causes the, <laughs> the little thing to pop up, though not very well. And we get his little whipping tail that is nicely articulated on the inside of the ball. I do appreciate that. The thing that is very cool is look at the helmet. That's not a dinosaur's head. That's a construction helmet. I have to admit, that is pretty funny. This yellow construction helmet on a Japanese Voltsor from, from Super Sentai. Because why not? His main gimmick is that he can move and spin and his hammer spins. And it works okay, but it really doesn't show have any real good use here in dino mode. I do highly appreciate the design though. These are all jointed and just, you could get a lot of nice movement and it can wrap around his tail. And it, I really appreciate the flexibility that Bandai has put into this. Now we can be sure that whenever, whenever uh, Kyo Ruger, Kyo Ru, yeah, Kyo Ruger comes to the US, this is not going to be here. I mean, we're not going, we are not going to be getting this amount of flexibility. But that won't be for several years to come. Transformation is exactly the same as all the others. Well, all the ones that have the similar body type. Just uh, fold up the legs, flip up the arms, open the mouth, push the button to pop out the beast battery. Future Kung Fu looks pretty cool, but I've got to say that the gray here on the side just doesn't go with the rest of the color scheme. Just a personal preference of mine. And the flail here, or the morning star that we've got going here, just kind of sits there in front of him. It doesn't really do anything or add much to it. I guess you could kind of move him on your own maybe, but then things get weird and it just looks a little odd and I don't particularly care for this weapon, Voltsor. Crazy dinosaur beasts, have at you! Armacast oh, Armanifold! Oh. 
and because I'm sure you wanted to see it, here is Terra Godon Kung Fu. I had to bend the hammer a little bit because when the hammer is, when he's got the hammer on, it kind of pushes him up and kind of doesn't work real well. But overall, I think this works a lot better than it did with Kyo Ryujin. And here is Kyo Ryujin Halloween Kung Fu mode. I mean, he's got a freaking giant pterodactyl chicken hanging off his back. What do you want from me? Overall, Boompaki is only just an okay addition to the team. He's not that great, but he's all right. I like the other Volt Sores a lot better, like Parasagon and Zakor and Ankydon. I just, I like them better. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with this guy. I, just, I think he's kind of boring, in all honesty, even with the crazy segmented uh, hammer tail. So guys, this is the last Voltsor weapon that we are going to be having that I know of. We've got three more mechs to go. We've got Plezon, Tobaspino, and Bragigas. So Plezon should be coming out very soon, and I hope to be able to get a hold of that and review that for you. And I'll be reviewing both Tobaspino and Bragigas when they come out. So guys, this has been Bolt Matrix reviewing Boon Paki from Chuden Sentai Kyo Ryuger, and I will catch you next time.